YouTube, what's the dealy, yo? <laughs> what's good, man? It's your boy Darren, man. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you already know what we talk about on this channel. We get into the smell goods, man, the fragrances. So smelling good. I talk to you about some and give you some fashion tips as well. Because I think if you're going to smell good, you might as well look good as well. It's like love and marriage. You can't have one without the other. So we get into both those things on this channel, man. So if you're into one or both of those things, which it should be both, Hey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because that's what we get into on the channel. Make sure you also hit that bell icon. That way when I upload another video or a new video on the channel, you will get notified by YouTube. All right, guys, I got something good for you today. I got some fragrances in my collection that I would put into that masterpiece category. I would ascribe that label of masterpiece to these fragrances. Now, the great thing about it is these fragrances also have great performance. They have great some of these great projection, great sillage on a lot of these fragrances. And I know that's something that a lot of you are looking for. So I thought that this would be an appropriate video to present to you today. So that's what we're going to be getting into. Now, I want to let you know I do have designer and niche fragrances on this list. So there should be something on the list for everybody at various price points. So this is going to be a good one, man. So if you want to see what made the list today of 10 masterfully done Fragrances that have great performance, longevity, and sillage. Then you know how we get down, man. Make sure you keep it locked right here. All right, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this list. The first fragrance I have is one of my favorites, man. I talk about this fragrance. I've talked about it often on this channel for good reason. It's that freaking good. So let's go ahead and get into it from the house of By Killian, Black Phantom. Black Phantom, Black Phantom, Black Phantom. What a good fragrance, man. Oh, my goodness. A gourmet lover's dream. Still one of my absolute favorite, favorite fragrances in my entire collection for good reason. There's some caramel in here. There is rum, there's coffee, there's sugar cane, vanilla. Oh man, this stuff is so good. I remember the first time I wore it um, out, it was on a Thanksgiving a few years ago, and I wore this polo uh, shawl collared uh, sweater. And this thing was on my sweater until I took it to the cleaner. So it lasted for weeks on my clothes, honestly, for about two weeks before I took it to the cleaners, man. So. This stuff right here is nuclear as it pertains to performance. It's going to stick around a long time. It doesn't really project that heavy after the first two hours, but the sillage on this is absolutely amazing, man. One of the first fragrances of its kind. Um, there have been other fragrances that have come out after this one that has kind of mimicked this DNA a little bit, but man, there is only one Black Phantom. So the first fragrance on this list comes from the house of By Killian. And of course, again, this is Black Phantom. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list. Now, when I say the house, it may surprise you because I said these are masterfully done fragrances. But, hey, listen, it is what it is. You got to give props where props are due, man. And this fragrance comes from the house of Azaro, and this is Azaro Wanted by Night. Oh, my God, what a good fragrance this is, man. Masterfully done. Uh, when you talk about designer fragrances, this is one of the best performing designer fragrances in my collection. It may be the best. I, I'm going to have to really sit back and really analyze everything and look at it, but this is one of the best performing designer fragrances that I have, and it is really, really well done for a designer fragrance. Some of the main notes in this, you're going to get some cedar wood, you got some incense, you have these fruity notes in here that kind of give the fragrance a little bit of fruitiness and kind of breaks up some of the heavier, darker notes that you get in here, but it's a woody, spicy fragrance. Again, cinnamon is in here. And tobacco would probably be the main notes that I would I would feel like I would need to mention for you to kind of get an idea of what this is if you never smelled it. But my goodness, this is a good fragrance. Again, projection on this fragrance is nuclear. This thing projects really strongly for about three and a half hours, maybe four hours. And that's something that you don't really find in fragrances. Usually an hour, hour and a half, two hours, maybe you get good projection. But this really projects out for a long time time there's some iso e super in this as well that may really help with the overall performance of the fragrance but my god what a good fragrance at this price point uh, i did my 10 designer fragrances for life this was just on the outside i think there was this one 
and four other fragrances that I really had to give some deep thought to really see what would make that list. And this was one of the fragrances I had in consideration for my 10 for life because it's that good. So make sure you check it out, guys. If you don't have it, I think this will be a great one to pick up from the house of Azaro. This is Azaro's Wanted by Night. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, one of my absolute favorites as well, especially from this house, from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John. This is Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood. And this one does great in both categories. This is a great performer on my skin, and this creates a great CI. So the projection and CI on this fragrance is really good. This is a masterfully done uh, fragrance from Mason Francis Kirk John. Uh, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose. So it has two uh, different varieties of rose in this fragrance, which Again, it just really contributes to how much I love it because, because I love rose. You have some benzoin in here, oud, and a little bit of violet leaf in here as well. To give this fragrance a little bit of brightness. A little benzoin on the dry down as well. So that little slightly earthy, a little bit dirtyness that you get from this, from the oud and the benzoin. Perfect fragrance right here. Perfect fragrance. It's sexy, 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 and it performs great. So check it out from the house of Amazing Francis Kirkton. This is oud satin mood. All right, so the next fragrance on this list was released in the year of 2020, and I don't think it really got the recognition that it deserved when it came out. But it's really good, man. From the house of Cartier, this is Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Pasha de Cartier Parfum. This stuff is amazing. This stuff is absolutely amazing, man. You have this uh, kind of booziness. There's a boozy accord in this. Not really sure what it is, but it definitely is slightly boozy. Uh, you have some tonka bean. Uh, in this one as well, of course, gives it that little bit of sweetness that, you know, a lot of people like in fragrances. You have some sandalwood in here as well. You have some labdanum, some patchouli. So it's really earthy and boozy and masculine. There's a fougere quality uh, that you're going to get from this as well. But this stuff is just darn good and it performs like a champion. This is one of those fragrances you put on your skin. The projection on this one is crazy. Creates a nice scent, scent trail as well, nice CIs as it dries down. So it had to be on a list like this, guys. This one, again, is one that's not talked about as much as it should because when you look at the design around the thing, this is extremely well constructed and well done. So make sure you check this one out, guys, from the house of Cartier. This is Pasha de Cartier Parfum. All right, guys, this next fragrance, I won't spend a lot of time uh, on this one. You guys know it's a masterpiece. You know it's well done and it performs all day long on my skin. This one is from the house of Roja Dove, Roja Dove, Roja Parfums. This is Creation E, or depending on where you're located in the world, it's called Enigma. Oh my God, man. You talk about a boozy fragrance that is well constructed, man. You know Roja Fragrances has a laundry list of uh, notes, so I won't try to cycle through all the notes, but just know this is a boozy fragrance that features a note of cognac and it smells absolutely fantastic i think vanilla and i would have to say benzoin would be two notes that i really have to mention in addition to the cognac uh in this scent right here but man i know rosa fragrances are expensive but if you can get a sample of this if you don't have it this is one you gotta experience man a lot of people say it smells like coca-cola and i can't argue with that there's something about it that will make you think about a coca-cola so you know that sounds interesting to you know that you're also getting a fragrance that's going to perform. This per per fragrance this fragrance lasts all day long on my skin, and that's not an exaggeration. So check this one out, man, from the house of Roger Parfums. This one is called Enigma or Creation E. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list is on this list really for the CIs that this fragrance creates, man. And this one comes from the house of Chanel, and this is Chanel Allure on Sport O Extreme. Another one that was right outside uh, of my top 10 uh, designer fragrances for life. This thing is so good, man. You got some tonka bean in here, so it's sweet. You have that beautiful mint opening with some mandarin orange as well. Sandalwood gives it a creaminess as it dries down. And I get a lot of compliments on this fragrance, especially when it dries down. The sillage and the scent bubble that this scent creates is absolutely amazing. It's really second to none, especially in the designer realm of fragrances, man. So. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's very, very well done. It's more than a sports scent, though, and that's something that I, I do I have to mention. This is more than a sports scent. This thing is very versatile. You can wear this really year-round as a signature scent. It's good, guys. So check it out if you haven't. From the house of Chanel, this is a little on Sport O Extreme. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, this thing is nuclear. This is nuclear. This might be 
I don't know if it's the top performing fragrance in my collection, but it's definitely in the top five out of everything that I have. I dare you to do more than five sprays of this. I dare you. This one comes from the house of Louis Vuitton, and this one is called Ombre No Mod. Ombre No Mod. I will tell you now, this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Honestly, the missus doesn't really like this one that much because it's so masculine, man. It's super smoky. Um, you have oud in here, but in addition to oud, you also have birch. So the birch and the oud gives it, and the saffron, it makes it like this extremely, extremely smoky, almost leathery uh, quality that you get from this one. But of course, in addition to uh, those notes, uh, you have some oud. I mean, you have some uh, rose in here and raspberry, I would say, are the, the main notes outside of the, the more smokier, leathery, uh, smoky kind of notes in this. But it's an absolute gem. It's an absolute masterpiece. This is an elite fragrance. And honestly, this is, you know, somebody when you wear this, you got to be dressed up and well put together. It is what it is. You're not wearing this with t-shirts, uh, with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. I'm just saying it's not going to go well together, in my humble opinion. But if you're going to dress up, man, and you want to be the best smelling dude in the room and you want to turn heads, this stuff performs like a monster. So make sure you check out this one from Louis Vuitton. Again, this one is called Ombre Nomad. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, somebody said recently that this may be discontinued. I don't know how true that is. I don't want to put that out there, and I'm not sure. But I hope it's not because this thing, again, another designer fragrance that gives great performance and CIs from the house of Prada. This is Prada Loam Intense. Prada Loam Intense, man. This thing performs all day long on my skin, honestly, all day long. And that's no exaggeration. Beautiful iris note in here. There's some, some tonka bean. Uh, in this one as well. So you get that, that nice balance between that kind of powdery clean iris and then the tonka bean and there's some leather in this one as well. Those are the main notes to my nose and this is just again a, a, an elite uh, fragrance when you talk about designers. It is well constructed and well put together and again if you're looking for something that's going to perform this is one uh, that you definitely need to uh, put your nose on if you have it. Again some, I've heard some people starting to say this is discontinued. I do not know how true it is, but if it is, and you're looking for a quality designer fragrance that is going to give great performance, make sure you try this one out from the house of Prada. This is Prada Loam Intense. All right, guys, the next fragrance uh, on this list today, this one comes from the house of Initial Parfums, and this one is called Oud for Greatness. Oud for Greatness. And again, the theme of the list, this thing is an absolute monster on the performance, man. This is... This fragrance projects for a long time as well. So people are going to be able to smell you. They are going to be able to pick this up. Uh, they don't even have to be that close to you. Again, this one is really one of those fragrances that gives great performance, in my humble opinion, at least on my skin. Of course, Oud, you know, is Oud for greatness. Oud is uh, the main accord in this fragrance. And a man, again, when you start talking about the house of initial performance, they have a lot of great fragrances. You have side effect. You have uh, Must Therapy, uh, you have Absolute Aphrodisiac. Uh, again, I could go on and on. Bless Baraka, which is my, actually my favorite fragrance from the house. But when you talk about performance, this is the performer of the bunch, man. So make sure you check this one out, especially if you like the note of Oud. Again, this one comes from the house of Initial Parfums, and this is called Oud for Greatness. All right, guys, and last but not least, another fragrance that performs all day long on my skin, man. This is a masterpiece. Easy. We don't even have to go through a whole bunch of stuff about this fragrance. It is what it is. It does what it does. From the house of Roja Dove, again, this one is called Amber Oud or Amber Oud. And, hey, listen, man, this is a rose oud combination that has a beautiful floral touch to it. And that's what I love about this fragrance. If you take some of my favorite Rose Oud combination fragrances in my collection, and I'm talking about I'm talking about fragrances like, of course, another one that was on this list, Oud Satin Mood. You take Bond Number Nine, New York Oud, um, Rose de Araby from uh, Armani Privé, and you combine those fragrances together. This is what you get right here. You get this this beautiful fragrance. Now, again, be careful if you can see the the dark color of this juice. This is one that, if it gets on your clothes too heavy, it will stain your clothes. It's heavily concentrated. It's a performer. And again, I love the floral touch to this one. Uh, it has rose, yang and lang, and jasmine in the heart of this fragrance. And they really help to neutralize uh, some of the uh, darker, heavier, uh, more resonance notes when this one dries down. So it really does a good job of kind of neutralizing the oud 
uh, the saffron and cinnamon and other notes as this, a little bit of civet as well as this dries down. Masterfully done, masterfully done from Boja Dove. So make sure, now uh, get a sample of this. It's very expensive, but get a sample of it. If you like rose oud fragrances, I think you'll enjoy this one. Again, from Rosie Dove, this is called Amber Oud. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 masterfully done fragrances, designer and niche, that have great performance, projection, and sillage. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. Of course, you guys uh, could have been doing anything else. You didn't have to watch this video, but you did, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you go ahead and share these videos out to some other folks that can use this information or may find it entertaining. Either way, it works for me, man, because I'm your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.